True tables are commonly used for industrial controls, computer programming, and data analysis. The truth of a compound statement depends on the truth values of the simple statements within the compound statement. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to construct and complete a truth table to determine the relative truth of a compound statement. In a truth table, the truth values in a column will depend on the truth values of preceding columns. Therefore, a truth table must be constructed in the correct fashion. To construct a truth table, we need the following columns in the following order. We need a column for each letter in the statement, then a column for each negated letter in the statement, then a column for each set of parentheses, followed by a column for each negated set of parentheses, and finally a column for the entire statement. Let's look at the compound statement not P or Q and not P. To construct a truth table, we carefully set up the columns as we just discussed. There are two letters used here, P and Q, so we need columns for P and Q. The only letter that's negated is P, so we next we need a column for not P. Next we need uh, columns for all parentheses. There's only one set of parentheses and the parentheses enclose not P or Q. Next we need a column for negated parentheses. There's no negation set outside of these parentheses so we do, we do not need a column for the negated parentheses. And finally we need a column for the entire statement. The truth values in each column of this truth table depend on the truth values for P and Q. Since this compound statement consists of two letters, there are going to be 2 to the power 2, or 4 truth cases. So let's consider those four cases. We could have that P and Q are both true. Or, P could be true and Q is false. Or, P is false and Q is true. Or, both P and Q could be false. I highly recommend that you consistently use this order for your truth cases so you can compare your answers with the back of the book. Now to complete the truth table, we complete each column as we move from left to right. The next column is not P or the negation of P. The negation of P has the opposite truth value of P. So since P is true, true, false, false, not P is false, false, true, true. To complete the next column of this truth table, we use the rules for the truth value of an OR statement. And an OR statement is true when one or both of the statements in question are true. Since NOT P is on one side of the OR symbol and Q is on the other side of the OR symbol, all we need to look at are the NOT P column and the Q column as indicated by the green and orange circles. If one of these columns is true, then the OR statement is true. So in the first line, Q is true, so NOT P or Q is true. In the next line, both Q and NOT P are false, so the OR statement is false. In line 3, both Q and NOT P are true, so the OR statement is true. And in the last line, NOT P is true, so the OR statement is true. In the last column, the AND symbol is used to connect two previous columns. So we will use the columns headed by the statements on either side of the AND symbol to determine the truth values for the last column. Remember that an AND statement is true only when both statements in question are true. So both NOT P and NOT P or Q must be true for the entire statement to be true. Therefore, the values in the last column are false, false, true, true, since not P and not P or Q are both true only in lines 3 and 4. So what does all this mean? 
By looking at the truth table, we can determine the truth values of P and Q when the compound statement is true or false. For example, we see that the compound statement is true in the last two rows. And it turns out that P is false in both cases. Therefore, we can easily say that the compound statement will be true when P is false. So suppose P represents parents earning over 20000 per year, and Q represents parents having expenses over 50000 per year. And suppose the student gets a loan if the compound statement we just looked at is true. According to the true table, if P is false, the student gets the loan. So if the student's parents don't earn over 20000 per year, the student will get the loan. Let's look at one more example. This example includes three letters, but we construct the, the table in the same fashion. We write down the letters, the negated letters, what's in parentheses, and the negated parentheses, and the entire statement. In this example, not R or not P and Q, the letters are P, Q, and R, the only negated letters are P and R, so we only need columns for not P and not R. You can put down not Q, but you won't be using it. What's in parentheses is not P and Q. This, this set of parentheses is not negated, so we don't need a, a column for the negated parentheses. And the entire statement is not R or not P and Q. Now, since we have more letters, we will have more truth cases. The number of truth cases is found by taking 2 to the power the number of letters. So 2 to the power 3 is the number of truth cases. So let me show you how to write down the truth cases. In the first column, P, all you do is write 4 T's and 4 F's. In column Q, you have the pattern two T's followed by two F's starting with the two T's. So you have true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. In column R, we alternate true and false starting with the true. So we'll have true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. I highly recommend that you keep your letters in alphabetical order so that you can compare your answers with the back of the book. Okay, now we can complete the table with not P just being the opposite of P. Four falses followed by four trues. Not R is just the opposite of R. So instead of true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, we have false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. In the next column, we are asked to evaluate the truth values for not P and Q. We already found the truth values for not P and the truth values for Q, and so all we need to do is look in the columns as indicated by the green and orange circles. An AND statement is true when both statements in question are true. As you can see from your table, Q and not P are both true in the fifth and sixth rows as indicated by the black lines. Therefore, not P and Q is true only in the fifth and sixth rows and false everywhere else. Now we are ready to find the truth values for the entire compound statement. We already found the truth values for not P and Q and for not R. Therefore, by using the corresponding columns of this table, we can determine the truth value of the OR statement in the last column. An OR statement is true when one or both of the statements in question are true. As you can see from the not R column and the not P and Q column, trues exist in rows 2, 4, 5, 6, and 8. And therefore, the entire compound statement is true in rows 2, 4, 
5, 6, and 8, and falls everywhere else. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for listening.